Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to create this wireless remote controlled car. There are a lot of RC toys you can find in the market, but the real joy is in making one for yourself. I made this using cardboard, but you can use the same electronics and the component and put it into your device of choice, like an RC tank, hovercraft, four wheel drive, etc, etc. So let's start with the tutorial. So the component required for this project are an on off switch, 7805 voltage regulator, l 9 motor driver IC, HC12 as a trans receiver, some screw terminals, 18650 battery and its holder, joystick modules, 4 6 volt DC gear motors and 2 Arduino nanos. And also some PCBs for which I chose the most reliable and the quickest source that is PCBWay.com. They provide high quality PCB prototyping service along with PCB assembly, 3D printing, CNC solutions with just a few clicks. You just need to upload the Gerber files and select the number of PCBs you want to place the order for and within few days professional looking high quality PCBs will be delivered to you. For this project the PCBs are designed in such a way that the same PCB can be used for both transmitter and the receiver. So you don't have to order separate PCBs. For the receiver side, we will populate the motor drivers and for the transmitter side, we will populate the joystick. The HC12 module and the Arduino Nano will be common for both. Let's start with mounting the motors on the side panel of RC car body. First, I wrapped some cardboard strips on the motor to create a surface to which the, these side panels can stick upon. Now we just need to apply the white glue on the side panels and stick the motor to it. You can apply the clips to hold the motors and side panels until the glue dries. Then we have we need to do the same for the other motor and again we have to create the same structure for the right side panel. While the side panels are drying let's prepare the wheels. For the wheels we will be needing 4 round pieces of cardboard out of which 3 should have hole in the center. The fourth one will be used as a base. Now we will stack this over one another by gluing them. And after creating one piece we have to recreate this for three more wheels. After the wheels are dried we can move to add some grip to the wheels by sticking some corrugated strips. I took the strips of length little more than circumference of the wheel and removed the corrugation from the end of it. Now we will apply some white glue and wrap it around the wheel. Again we need to do the same for three more times. While it dries we can prepare the body for RC car. You can take 40 cm by 9 cm strips of corrugated sheet over which we can stick the side panels. Do attach the wires to the motor before moving to this step. After applying the glue, we can secure them tightly together until the glue dries, for which we will be using some masking tape. Masking tape is good as it holds them together until the glue dries and when we need to peel them, it doesn't leave any residue. So we need to do the same for the other side. Now our RC car body is ready and we can place the electronics in it. But first we need to do the wiring. Connect all the motor wires to the respective location. Left side panel wires will go to motor driver 1 and motor driver 3. And the other side wires will go to motor driver 2 and motor driver 4. After all the motors are connected, we need to connect the battery wires to the on off switch and then place the battery holder inside the compartment. And then we can place the PCB as well. And as everything is looking great, we can insert the batteries. So let's turn it on and once verify it. Meanwhile our wheels are all dried up and our RC body is ready so we can attach them together and for that we will be using some glue gun. Just add some glue to the holes of the wheel and insert the motor shaft and hold the body steady till the glue hardens. And then repeat the same for the other side as well. 
After that we can move to build the joystick and for that we will again be using some cardboard in the shape of a joystick and then cover it around the edges using some corrugated strips. To stick the corrugated strips to the sides we first need to create some mounting positions by using some mounting strips on the base of the joystick. And when the mounting strips are all dried we can wrap the side strip around the edges and hold them together until the groove dries using some clips. So our joystick body is ready so we can remove the clips and move to the electronics of the joystick. I have attached the joystick and the circuit to a foam sheet which can be mounted inside the body using some double sided tape. After attaching the battery and the switch place the circuit inside the body and cover it with the top part. the top part will snugly fit inside the cover. So as everything is complete it's time to test our RC car. I think it is working pretty well and according to the data sheet of HC12 module it has a quite large distance for telemetry so you can enjoy playing with it from a distance also all the drawings diagrams shapes cutouts and a detailed write-up for all the instructions can be found through the link in the description below if you like this project do share it with your maker friends and subscribe to makertronics for more such awesome projects